All right, guys. It's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer, and welcome to my channel where I optimize daily aspects of my life that for sure don't need any optimization. I was walking my dog the other day when uh, a vast number of fireworks were shot in the sky and my brave doggo was running for his life towards my apartment. That made me think, why not use our unnecessary skills and capitalize on all the people already constantly looking in on their phones and create a mobile and desktop application that will create the perfect fireworks but without all the stress for the animals, right? That sounds good, let's do it! Okay, I uh, quickly created a background using uh, these uh, three images in Open Game Art. This is how it turned out. Next thing I needed to create was some particle effects that will serve us as fireworks. I'm using ClipGDX Particles Editor and just winging it as a whole. You can see that I'm creating fireworks with different particles, hearts, circles, stars, triangles, and I'm using four colors, red, green, yellow, and blue. Before we get into the code, just a friendly reminder, please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you like the content so far. Thanks! For this game we are using LibGDX because it provides a cool way to create a cross-platform application. In our case, we are going to test the app on desktop, but also I'm going to release it in the Android store if you guys want to play with it. Down in the description, I'm going to leave a pretty good libgdx tutorial so you can see all of the basics. One of the hardest things for me is providing a mobile app that looks the same on all phones. This is why I enjoy using this sort of libraries. Ok, we are now adding our background in the game and then creating a particle effect so we can test how the initial version will look like. And uh, yep, I screwed up the effect. <laughs> Turns out no matter if you check or uncheck the layers, when you are displaying the effects in the game, all of the layers with all of the particles are being shown. Looks good, but this is not what we want, so we are going to fix it. Another problem is that when we resize the application, our clicks and our explosions are mismatched. We can fix this by applying a camera to our game and unprojecting our clicks in game X and Y, not screen X and Y. Because we are going to create an unknown amount of particle effects, we need a managed pool of effects, so we can reuse the object and not manually create and destroy every effect when it is completed. 
we can achieve that by adding a particle effect pool. BAM! You can actually download the application that we are making on the Google Play Store. Of course, the source code and the, uh, the link for the Google Play Store will be down in the description, so check them out. The final thing we are going to create is one kind of irrelevant and not very beautiful particle effects generator class. This class will hold all of our effects and all of our pools and randomly is going to get us a new effect on every click. Of course, I forgot to record that part of the video and I realized after I finished most of it. We are going to hold our pools and our current active effects in a map. We are going to use the pool as key and an array of effects as value. That's it, let's enjoy the final product. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think, let me know if you have some unnecessary ideas that you want me to create and yeah, see you soon, bye!